Describe the events that occur during mitosis. This is a big question, a big nine mark question. And as always, we're always going to start off with a definition. What is mitosis? So mitosis is a process within the cell that results in the division of a, of a mother cell to produce two identical daughter cells. So these, I, these daughter cells are exactly the same, or theoretically meant to be exactly the same as one another. Now, the next stage, the next thing that we can talk about is the different stages of, of mitosis. And you need, just need to remember a simple mnemonic called PMAT, or P-M-A-T. And these describe the different stages, the four different stages within mitosis itself. First of all, prophase. Second of all, metaphase. Third of all, anaphase. And then finally, telophase. Now, prophase and telophase, or the P and the T, are actually opposites of each other. And now let's talk about prophase first. In first, in prophase, things appear and things disappear. That's what you need to know about. So there are three things that appear. Um, there are three things you need to think about in prophase, and there are three things that you need to think about in telophase. In metaphase, there are two things, anaphase, one thing, just as I've drawn here. Now, in prophase, let's talk about this first step first. So things appearing and disappearing. The first thing that disappears is a nuclear membrane, which breaks down. And the things which appear are the spindle microtubules, they form at the pulse. And the third thing is that the chromosomes, they supercoil. Think of supercoiling as chromosomes just appearing or, or, or condensing. Think about it like that. Now, before we move on to metaphase, we have to keep in mind that in metaphase, there are two things that occur. And metaphase starts with an M. So think about metaphase of things going in the middle. Chromosomes, they line up at the middle or the equator of the cell and spindle microtubules attach to the middle of each chromosome or the centromere of each chromosome. After they've done that, then we move on to the third phase, which is anaphase. Anaphase starts with an A and A is also the first letter of away. So what happens is that the chromatids, which are pulled apart to opposite poles in, uh, in anaphase, that's what happens there. And now, um, as I finish writing off this about anaphase, remember that telophase is the opposite of prophase. So there are three things which occur here first. Let's look back up. So before, um, the nuclear membrane broke down. So in telophase, the nuclear membrane is going to reform. That's the first thing that's going to happen. And the second thing is that uh, if we look back up at prophase, spindle microtubules formed at the poles. So what's going to happen? The opposite of form is to break down. So spindle microtubules are going to break down. The third thing is that chromosomes are going to uncoil, and that's what's going to happen in telophase. And that's the end.